No, Marie. Let me see what time it is. But, Father, you heard the clock chime. Did it chime? Did the clock chime, dear? I don't recall. I wasn't listening, so I don't know exactly what time it is. It's time to open our presents. I've only got one question, children. If it's time to open your presents, what are you both doing in here? Yay! Shall we join them? Gosh, this is the most wonderful Christmas ever. Look at all these presents. I didn't think we were good enough this year to get all this. Well, you weren't, but I make up for it. Ha ha, Marie. Watch it or I'll have my soldiers attack. Oh, I'm just too scared for words. <laughs> <laughs> Time to see Godfather Drosselmeyer's present. What do you think it'll be? Hey, with Godfather Drosselmeyer, you never know. One thing's for sure, it's gonna be great. And now I believe it's time to unveil Godfather Drosselmeyer's annual Christmas present to you children. Are you sure it's time, dear? Maybe you should check your pocket watch. Mother, please. We can't take it anymore. Yes, Marie's quite right. We really should get down to the business at hand. <gasps> amazing! That's not amazing. I'll show you amazing. Godfather Drosselmeyer, how did you get in? I came down the chimney chute like Santa Claus. No way. There's a fire in the fireplace. A year older and a year smarter. Aren't we, Fritz? Wow! That is amazing! Godfather Drosselmeyer. Make the soldiers come out of the side door instead of the drawbridge. Sorry, I can't do that, Fritz. Well, how about making the children inside come out so I can see them? It's not going to happen, Fritz. The mechanism for the figures is set up so they go through the same cycle over and over. I can't change it. Yeah, well, it's kind of interesting, but how long can you watch them doing the same thing? Well, I think the castle's great, Godfather Drosselmeyer. There. You see? Now. Look what's hiding in the Christmas tree. That wasn't there before. But whose present is it? Let me show you how it works first. Be gentle with it. Can I try? Of course. It's yours. Mine? Oh, Godfather Drosselmeyer, thank you. I'll only use small nuts so Nutcracker doesn't get hurt. Let me try. You're working for Fritz now. You're going to hurt him. You're going to hurt You did! You broke him! I guess you won't make a very good soldier now. Oh, you've hurt my nutcracker. Now you can't have him. Will I ever survive? Poor nutcracker. Here, I'll fix your jaw. Are you feeling any better? Don't you worry about Fritz. I'll keep him away from you. And Godfather Drosselmeyer said he can fix you up. Good as new. Tonight you can sleep here. And tomorrow we'll see about... <gasps> Mm -hmm. 
Father Drosselmeyer. How did you... What are you doing on the clock? A better question might be, what is the clock doing under me? Please come down. You're scaring me. If you think you're scared, you should see the view from up here. to worry about yourself than the Nutcracker, young lady. Why on earth did you stay up so late last night? I had to, Mother. Nutcracker was in danger. The only one who was in danger was you. How could you have been so careless as to bump your head? We've all been very worried about you. Not me. Marie's head is so hard the floor would crack before she would. That'll be enough, Fritz. But, Mother, I wasn't being careless. I slipped when I threw my shoe at the Mouse King. Yes, yes, I'm sure you did, dear. Now you just relax and don't worry about your nutcracker. He's safe and sound in the parlor. Only half right. He's safe and sound. But it happens he was in my pocket. <laughs> Godfather Drosselmeyer, you're in a world all your own. Come, Fritz. We'll leave Godfather Drosselmeyer to visit with Marie. Okay, Mom. Sometimes I think you're braver than your brother. You weren't one bit afraid last night, were you? Well, I sure was afraid of that seven-headed mouse king, but I had to protect Nutcracker. Then it did happen. It is true. True, not true. What's the difference? Who cares what happens to this ugly old Nutcracker? I care. And he's not ugly. Yes, he is. He'd be the first to admit it. And if you're honest, you'll admit it too. Well, so what if he is ugly? I care for him all the same. Oh, but that's a wonderful thing to say. Would you like to hear the story of how the Nutcracker got to be, well, the Nutcracker? Oh, yes. Yes, Godfather Drosselmeyer. Please tell me the story. Let's start at the castle. Castles are always fun. Once upon a time, there was a wonderful castle in a wonderful kingdom. A 
king, queen, and their beautiful baby daughter, Princess Pearlypat, all lived in the castle. Everything was perfect in this castle, except for one small problem. Mice! The castle is full of mice, Drosselmeyer, and I want you to do something about it. His name was Drosselmeyer, too? Just like yours, Godfather? Indeed it was. He was the king's royal clockmaker. And fortunately for him, he was also an inventor. In no time, he invented the most brilliant mouse traps. to be seen in the castle. Well, as you can imagine, the king and queen were very pleased until one night. My, my, what a pretty picture. The royal family spending quality time together. How precious. It seems one mouse has managed to escape Drosselmeyer's traps so far. Don't lose any sleep worrying about me. I didn't get to be Madame Mouse Ring, queen of the mice. Nothing. Then consider yourself lucky and be on your way. Lucky? Consider myself lucky? Let me tell you something, your royal highness. I used to have a family just like the two of you do. That is, until your traps took everyone from me. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'll give you something to oh, my about, sister. By all the tales of all the mice in the world, I swear a vow of revenge. I will place a curse on your little princess, Pearly Pat. That will... Oh, no, you won't! You won't! You won't! You won't! You won't! I will! You are my most trusted advisors, the bravest and wisest men in all the land. Surely one of you can tell me how to guard against Madame Mousebrink placing a curse on Princess Perlapat. There is only one solution, Your Majesty. We must have six nurses in the room with the princess at all times. Each nurse must have a cat on her lap to further guard against Madame Mousebrink. Well, the court astrologer had a pretty good idea there, and it worked for a while. <laughs> Take much more of this. <sighs> You're quite right, my queen. This is your fault. You two had better have a solution for how to take this curse off our daughter. Well, Your Highness, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is the curse can be taken off your daughter by having a young man who has never shaved and never worn boots crack a crack a took nut in front of her. Wonderful. But what's the bad news? 
the bad news is there are only maybe two or three Krakatuk nuts in the whole world. Then I guess you'd better start looking for them. Clockmaker Drosselmeyer and the court astrologer sail the world looking for a single Krakatoa nut from which to lift the curse from Princess Pearlypat. after all these years. Where have you been? On a wasted voyage to the four corners of the globe, seeking a Krakatuk nut for 15 miserable years. A Krakatuk nut? Wow, what a coincidence. I just happen to have a Krakatuk nut right here. It is a Krakatuk nut. Yes, I got it as a gift years ago. If you need it so badly, you can have it. A Krakatuk nut? You've had a Krakatuk nut all these years? T tell me, cousin, just when did you get this Krakatuk nut? <laughs> well, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> it's just too funny. When did you get the nut? Well, 15 years ago. <laughs> Isn't that too much? <laughs> Drosselmeyer, Drosselmeyer, get hold of yourself, man! Let me at him! We've got the Krakatuk nut, do you understand? You're right. We've got the nut. We've got the nut. But now we have to find a man who's never shaved or worn boots who can crack this nut with his teeth. This must be your lucky day. My son's never worn boots and he also has himself quite a beard. The kid's teeth are so strong he could be a beaver. <laughs> Found a Krakatuk nut. We have, Your Majesty. Thank heavens! Our nightmare is over. <laughs> and you're the young man who can crack the nut. <laughs> Bearded and without boots. Oh, it's just too perfect. <laughs> too perfect. It's her. It's Princess Pearlipat. So, we have visitors. How nice. I love it when someone comes to the castle to see what my parents have turned me into. Now, darling, you know it was Madame Mouserink who placed the curse that has made you look, uh, look, well, uh... Different? Yes, yes, that's it. Uh, different. Fine. Well, then, let's discuss the fee. Fee? You mean this young man wants to charge me for making my daughter look normal? You're not exactly in a position to argue the point, Your Highness. True. Uh, what is the fee, then? If he can turn Princess Pearlypat into a beautiful princess, then he should be able to marry her and become a prince. It's a deal. Let's get on with it. The Krakatuk nut, please. Ha <laughs> ha! 
going to destroy the Nutcracker someday. Who cares? All that matters is I've got my beautiful daughter back. You're right. We have nothing to worry about. Once your daughter marries my cousin's son, he'll be a prince and under your protection. Me marry an ugly wooden Nutcracker? You've got to be joking. <laughs> 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 Get out of here, Drosselmeyer, and take that thing with you. <laughs> Drosselmeyer, wait! Listen to me. There's a way for the Nutcracker to not only return to normal, but to become a prince as well. I'm listening. He must kill the son of Madame Mouserink and win the love of a lady in spite of his ugliness. Oh, is that all? And that, Marie, is the story of how Nutcracker came to be. That's a very sad story, Godfather Drosselmeyer. Princess Burlypat shouldn't have been so... Ugh, mean. Ugh, ugh. I would have loved him even if he was ugly. Nutcracker, you can always count on me. You're looking much better today, Marie. Thank you, Mother. Nutcracker's looking better too, don't you think? Oh, much better, I should say. Godfather Drosselmeyer did a fine job repairing him. Well, it's a good thing. Nutcracker's almost like a member of the family. I think you need to stay in bed for a few more days. Eat your soup, dear. It's all very clear to me now, Nutcracker. I know you're Godfather Drosselmeyer's nephew. I... I'll always be here for you. I'll always help you if you need it. Christmas candy, or do I chew Nutcracker into sawdust? My precious Nutcracker? You wouldn't! Of course I would. Anything you ask, only don't hurt Nutcracker. I think you and me are gonna get along just fine, kid. Just fine. <laughs> And then the seven-headed mouse king told me unless I gave him 
all my Christmas candy, he'd chew Nutcracker into sawdust. Where does she get such crazy ideas? Eating all that candy would make anyone see seven-headed mice. <laughs> <laughs> now, Fritz, don't make fun of Marie just because she has a good imagination. But I didn't imagine it, and I didn't eat all my candy. The Mouse King ate it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let him laugh, Marie. They don't know how lucky you are. You alone can save Nutcracker from the Mouse King. It will not be easy, but if you succeed, you will become a princess yourself. I don't care about being a princess, Godfather. I'll stand by Nutcracker because, because I love him. What kind of stories are you telling her, Godfather Drosselmeyer? Only true ones, my dear. Only true ones. Remember, Marie, keep your promise to Nutcracker. Always stand by him. Help him when you can. I will, Godfather. I swear by the love I feel for Nutcracker. <laughs> I've given you all my Christmas candy. What more do you want? I'll take your dresses and books for starters. And just to show you I'm a nice guy, I'll make you the same deal as before. Turn the stuff over to me, and I won't chew the nutcracker into sawdust. <laughs> 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 anything. I'll do anything to save my nutcracker. <laughs> 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 I've already given the Mouse King my Christmas candy and my dresses and books. I'm afraid he'll keep asking for more and more things until I have nothing left. And then he'll chew you to pieces. I'd do anything to save you, but it's very, very hard. You've done enough already, Marie. You are alive. Alive and sad that you've given the Mouse King your things to save me. Oh, but I'd do anything to help you, Nutcracker. Then get me a sword so I can slay the Mouse King. I broke the one I had in the last battle. Of course. I remember now. That's why you couldn't come to life before. You had nothing to defend yourself with. And that's the whole story, Fritz. That's why I need one of your toy soldier's swords. So the Nutcracker will kill the Seven-Headed Mouse King? Right. What do you say? I say I hope whatever you've got isn't catching. On the other hand, the day may come when I need a favor. So here. This soldier wasn't following orders anyway. Thank you, Fritz. You're the best brother there is. I know.
Yes, Marie. It's Nutcracker. It's over. I've destroyed the Mouse King. And I owe it all to you. You gave me the courage and strength to fight the beast who was tormenting you. I took these seven gold crowns from the Mouse King. I want you to have them as a symbol of my love. Oh, Nutcracker, I love you too. Then come with me and visit my kingdom. In here? Hurry! Everyone will be waiting. Sure is dark inside this coat. Don't worry, we're almost there. really know what's inside of it. We're not in your closet anymore, Marie. We're in Christmas wood. place in the whole world. And you're the most wonderful girl in the whole world. Thank you. Oh, look! Swans only mean one thing in my kingdom. We've reached Lake Rosa. Mm. See the waves, Marie? A princess. It's Princess Pearly Pat. No, look close. It's you, Marie. But I look like a princess. You are a princess. And there has never been a princess as beautiful as you. It's Candy Town, just as I always dreamed it would be. We'll come back and visit it someday. Right now we have to hurry to the Marzipan Castle. Why are they all crying? They are my sisters. They're crying because they're so glad to see I'm alive. Yes, yes, I'm fine. And I have Marie to thank for it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
she's finally waking up. Uh, maybe Fritz was right about you being Rip Van Winkle. Mother, I had the most wonderful time last night. Nutcracker took me to Christmas Wood, and I ate shooting stars that turned into sugar plums, and we took a gondola ride along Lake Rosa and danced the night away in his castle. That's a wonderful dream. You still don't believe me. See here? These are the seven crowns that belong to the seven-headed mouse king. I think I've heard all I want to hear about mice with seven heads. I think you're well enough to get out of bed for good now. At last! <laughs> Mr. Drosselmeyer, if you really were alive, I wouldn't be like Princess Pearlypat. I wouldn't scorn you because you stopped being a handsome young man on my account. I'd love you all the more for it. I've someone here I think you might enjoy meeting. Your nephew. Marie, you know who I am, don't you? But of course, you're a nutcracker. Well, I was the nutcracker, but you freed me. Come with me, precious Marie. Favor me with your hand, share my crown and my kingdom. Reign with me over Marzipan Castle. For well, now I am king there, and you shall be my queen. Dear Mr. Drosselmeyer, you are a kind and wonderful gentleman, and I would be honored to be your queen. You are my love. You are my dream come true. <laughs>